So there was a report in the Washington Post yesterday about how the CIA says that they think Russia intervened with the United States election. But I want to show you this post. Let's let's take a look at this. Okay. Oh, you can't you can't actually see it because it fl it flips upside down. But I'm going to read it to you. This is the actual article. All right, I'm going to have to do this through. I'll go back to you. I'm just going to read it to you because it's flipped upside down. This is the the paragraph from the Washington Post, and then this is what WikiLeaks drew on the lines to point out what what you need to be thinking in reading this disinformation. Okay, this is from this is from the original article with edits from WikiLeaks. Okay. The CIA has concluded in a secret assessment, and they underline secret in red, that Russia intervened in the 2000 election to help Donald Trump win the presidency, rather than to just undermine confidence in the U.S. electoral system, according to officials briefed on the matter. They underline officials, and then they write in big, bold letters, who? They are anonymous. They move on to the next paragraph. Intelligence agencies have identified individuals with connections. Again, they underline it and say, who? What connections to the Russian government who provided WikiLeaks with thousands of hacked emails from the DNC committee and others, including Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, according to U.S. officials? Who? <laughs> Anonymous, again, they underline. Those officials describe the individuals as actors to the intelligence community and part of a wider Russian operation to boost Trump and hurt Hillary Clinton's chances. And then they go on to say, it is the assessment of the intelligence community that Russia's goal here was to favor one candidate over the other to help Trump get elected, said a senior U.S. official. Who? Oh, they are still anonymous. Briefed on an intelligence president presentation made to the U.S. senators. That's the consensus view consensus view. Even insiders do not believe this because it is no proof. They have not offered one single piece of tangible evidence that Russia had anything to do with releasing uh, those e the, the DNC emails or hacking into state voter, voter roll database services. Not one piece of tangible objective evidence that can be taken as proof that this has actually happened. Nothing. Zero. Yet these claims have become so uh, put forth in the U.S. news media that now they have become an accepted talking point and I hear them in everyday conversation and people believe them just like they believed the same kind of strategy with WMDs in Iraq. Remember, it was always off the record, unofficial sources who, you know, would... They would always coach the language so that it wasn't 100%, but it was about 99%, even though it was being manufactured to manipulate people to support a policy of lies. And what is happening with Russia right now? What they, the United States is wanting to engage in moving forward with into Syria on another unnecessary war on lies, manufactured with propaganda, trying to talk about how we are trying to protect the children and the citizens of Aleppo, when it just came out in German newspapers, you can go to my feed over on Twitter, that it was the U.S. armed rebels who were keeping the citizens locked in and not being able to leave that city. That was just reported yesterday. We are arming people directly associated with ISIL and Al-Qaeda. That has been proven in major news media sources all around the globe, which I have documented in my videos. I have the sources. And these sources, because they are foreign entities of news organizations, would even meet the standard of the corporate media for being legitimate. Like, who the hell cares what they say anyways? But they would be that kind of source. This isn't even things that you have to be some kind of extremist fringe. If you look and you actually do the investigation, you can find this. You have to look and you have to read the last paragraph. And you have to bear it and look deep, deep, deep. But that is what's going on. 
So right now, we know that the United States has a goal of wanting to move forward into, a, into an unnecessary war of choice on lies that could get, get us into direct military comfort, confrontation with Russia. And, and we also, at the same time, have a propaganda campaign with absolutely zero objective proof offered that Russia somehow intervened in our election, which is total bullshit. I'll just give you a quick summary because I did tons of videos on this yesterday. But the fact that they are a certain that Russia wanted to help Donald Trump. Let me, riddle me this, riddle me this. These same kind of shadow sources are saying, hey, did you know, and this is true, according to the um, FBI, this has been in the Times and this has been in the Wall Street Journal. I can give you the sources. You can go to my YouTube channel and look at the source list below. FBI saying voter database, ro voter database roles were hacked into in Arizona. Voter database roles were hacked into in Illinois. They're saying that other other um, voter database roles look to have been compromised in other states and other state don't voter database roles were hacked, right? What did we see in Arizona? Now, now, if if they were trying to get voter database roles and information and, 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 and manipulate the results of an election, and this was in the primary, not the general, in the primary. Interesting that according to Michelle Reagan, who is the Arizona Secretary of State, who testified publicly, and you can see this on US Uncut, and I have this over on my election fraud blog, 2016.wordpress.com. She testified that election fraud occurred. She testified that there was mass voter roll purging, people being disappeared off the rolls, mainly demographic groups that favored Bernie Sanders not Hillary Clinton. Newly registered Democrats, because people needed to be Democrats to, um, to uh, switch over. People who had been prior, who had been independents, who switched over to be a registered Democrat so that they would be able to vote for Bernie Sanders because he had a huge, huge portion of independents who were supporting him. And um, according to Michelle Reagan, um, it appears that the voter roll purging and the people who weren't able to participate in the primary by probably over 100,000 people in in Arizona alone, and that number could be much higher, the people who were purged off the rolls and targeted with that, because somebody took them off the rolls, they didn't just disappear on their own, that was to harm Bernie Sanders, not benefit Hillary Clinton. And the same thing that happened with voter roll purging in New York, where we had 125,000 people purged off the rolls in New York in Brooklyn, in Bernie Sanders' town alone. And we saw that again in California. And people, this became so widespread, this knowledge of this voter roll purging, that people started checking their voter roll registration before the primary to make sure that they hadn't been flipped. When I gave warning to my viewers, this is just anecdotal, but I had, I had a, a few hundred people write me that they had been flipped off or had their, their registration flipped or they were purged off the rolls. Bernie Sanders voters were targeted, yet yeah, according to the Washington Post and these unknown sources, they were trying to harm Hillary Clinton. How? They were trying to boost Trump against Hillary Clinton. It's bullshit. All, all what, what we see is Hillary Clinton benefiting. And in Arizona, it, it, the weekend before the uh, the primary, it was reported by Bernie Sanders' campaign that they had serious, serious concerns that their election system had been hacked into. And then you see their voters being disappeared off the rolls. This pattern all over the country. And when you see the United States government is so concerned about Russia, but they're not in, they're not looking into this. Where's the big investigation into this? Where's the big investigation into the anomalies? They talk about the concerns around the election system. If they were actually concerned around the election system, if they truly were concerned about a crisis in our election system, they wouldn't be dealing with Russia. They would be dealing with the fact that we have forensic proof that we vote on machines that can uh, be electronically um, flipped, remotely electronically changed without leaving a trace of evidence. You don't get more vulnerable. If there's the built-in mechanisms that solely exist in our voting machines to change the vote, we vote on private machines with proprietary software with many states where you can't, it's illegal even to review the ballots, then that is the crisis in the election system. But what do you hear from the U.S. government? Do you hear about the real threats? No. You hear about 
threats from Russia, which they offer no proof, just off the record bullshit from unnamed sources in the CIA. And then when they say, well, why won't they release the information? Oh, it could jeopardize the, um, it could je and jeopardize intelligence. It's all bullshit. If they had actual proof that Russia did this, Riddle me this, do you think they wouldn't be sharing it with the American public and it wouldn't be the lead story on every single uh, a corporate news media show out there? Are you kidding me? If they actually had proof, that's all you would see. But they don't have it, so they have to manufacture these lies. Please stop believing it and s please don't allow this disinformation to go unchallenged on the, um, on the uh, uh, social media sites and Twitter. So... Yeah, we are moving into George Orwell's 1984, um, and the uh, it's not about party, it's not about Republican versus Democrat, it is about a corporate state and um, uh, shadow government powers which have usurped the people's government and have now made it so that it does not function as it should be. It should be a, uh, a government operating for and by the people. I mean, I know it's never been a perfect system, but it is degrading into absolute... Um, a uh, horror story um, uh, territory right now. So, shame on the corporate news media, shame on the political establishment, and shame on everybody who wants to perpetuate lies and control people, and then and then try to smear people who want to counter their propaganda and their brainwashing and the harm that they're doing to the American people as extremists and foreign government when they can't even offer proof this is actually occurring. Oh my God! It's it's uh, we are we are we are through the rabbit hole, and we are getting into some seriously seriously weird times, and um, they're going to come for us. Facebook is becoming a venue that I don't think is going to be around much longer. I have seen some of the worst disinformation and, and and censorship on Facebook in the past months than I have ever seen since I've been on here. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Posts are disappearing. Communication is being stopped. And there was a video that was put out. I'll end with this where it was a highly manufactured productive uh, production Hollywood style video, the same kind of thing you see with Aleppo, where they were doing propaganda stating that it was organic farming and not the, um, and not uh, the GMOs and the um, big agriculture that was threatening the food supply. That's the kind of propaganda they're putting out. They're trying to say that organic farming is a threat to the national food supply. And if you want to stop the damage to our food supply, you won't buy organic food. That is how far they're going. That is horrifying. Do not buy this propaganda and, and let the American people, let everybody that you know, tell them this, warn them about this and tell them, just keep it to this simple point. Do you trust the government and the corporate media to, to be honest with you and give you news in a fair way after you have seen so many wars started on lies and so many things that they told you the very next week or the next month or the next year proved completely false? If you don't trust that, then you need to look into every single story with an objective, critical mind and not just buy what they tell you because they own the system. All right, everybody. As always, this is Debbie, the sane progressive. I wish I had happier news to give you, but, uh, you know, courage. Peace out.